First at five, a man is behind bars tonight charged with arson and attempted murder. Deputies say it was all over a stimulus check. Our Scotty Kay has the story. Ray Bradford Jr. is being held here at the Spartanburg County Detention Center after Sheriff Chuck Wright says he was the suspect in one of the worst domestic violence cases the sheriff says he's ever seen. This guy right here, I mean, he just looks like a fellow you would see in the store. I mean, he didn't, he didn't look like somebody that would be doing that stuff, but um, you, know, you just never know. Ray Bradford Jr. is accused of slamming his girlfriend to the ground, kicking her, stomping on her neck, and threatening to end her life. I saw the pictures, and this poor lady was, was beaten pretty badly. She got struck with a lamp and a table leg and the guy's fist. Sheriff Chuck Wright says the victim suffered a broken nose and a broken jaw. I've been doing this 35 years, and I hadn't seen many people beat this bad. After the assault, investigators say Bradford set the house and the victim's car on fire, but they say he didn't stop there. While we were working that scene, the suspect, Mr. Ray Bradford Jr., uh, made his way over to his girlfriend's mother's house uh, and burnt her car. Shortly after, deputies found Bradford walking along Chesney Highway near Maple Tree Lane. I had gasoline in each hand. He had gasoline in a liquor bottle and I think a water bottle. He, turned, he opens up the, the gasoline and threatens to burn the officers and, and himself. With the help of a canine, the officers were able to arrest him without incident. Investigators say Bradford blamed his actions on the government holding his stimulus check due to unpaid child support. I'm Sheriff right Wright here. said had officers not arrested Bradford when they did, Bradford the outcome could have been so much worse. See, he told him, he said, if y'all hadn't caught me, I was going to go back and take care of his girlfriend and, and their children. He, he had every intention of killing these people. Bradford had a bond hearing yesterday and was denied bond on all of his charges. According to a background check, he has an extensive criminal history, including criminal domestic violence and assault. In Spartanburg County, Scotty Kay, 7 News. The victim in the case was taken to Spartanburg Regional and is recovering from her injuries.